All right, so this is my tutorial. Um, I have a squeaky chair, so I apologize if you can't hear me over the squeaky chair. So what I'm going to do is just kind of the cross tutorial. I'm going to move the camera in just a minute, but what I want to show is just some of the tricks that I use when I solve the cross and how I worry more about execution than worrying about um, how I get pieces into place or whatever the case is. So if we take a look right So that's the scramble that I'm going to be using. And as normal, we go green, uh, front, white up. That's competition standard. do the wrong scramble or whatever the case is um, and you don't get the exact same one my apologies so immediately when I look at this cross here's what I'm thinking so I see red opposite orange here which means ideally I would have orange here opposite red then I'd have green here and blue here uh, technically yeah it would be blue then orange and then green and then red so if I see green is up here, I could bring green down here. Um, and so blue goes here. So here's my thought process. Seeing this how I see it, I want to move this piece here to bring it down. To get this piece here, I could move the orange above the red. And as I'm bringing the orange down, push the blue into here. So it would be like um, a U prime, front prime, right prime front prime and then I'd have to worry about this situation so kind of an interesting conundrum the other thing I could do is bring this up here move this over first uh, actually I lie move this over first bring it down and as I'm bringing it down I can push this over on top of the orange so let me show you what I mean I'll bring the orange over and this pushes the green over and I know I want the green to be down here so that's my almost like a setup move. Then I do this, makes these two opposite, these two are now opposite, and this is a bad edge that I can turn into a good edge using this momentum that I'm already using. So I do this. The reason I did that is because eventually when I bring the orange down, it'll bring the green down to meet blue, but it's gonna mess this up, so I have to push this out of the way now too. Then I bring this down, bring this down, and down to and my cross is finished. So I'm just going to go and solve the rest of the cube. Okay, let's take a look at another scramble. Okay, uh, it's still a little bit out of focus here. There. Okay. <clears throat> what up, green front? So down to left, up, front prime, left, down prime, back to, down, up prime, right prime, back to, up, left to, down prime, U prime, back prime, up, left right prime, front two, down, up, back prime, U prime, down. Here's my scramble. So, um, this I see is interesting, because I could bring this down, but then these two are backwards, and I don't want that. I see this is interesting, because if I bring this down like this, um, this is up top, so that's somewhere that's easy to deal with, and this is opposite, but this is in the right situation. So this one's kind of tricky. I don't really like the idea of doing this one. So here's what my thought process is. I'm thinking I want to go like this and put this in the right space. 
then I could go back like this and put this in the right space too. I don't know how I feel about all of that though. And I just went and messed up my cross, so that's awesome. So we'll just go with that. Now this situation, this is where one of these tricks come in. So I'm actually glad I kind of messed this up because if it was this situation, I'm not going to bring this down and move it over and then put it back. Here's what I'm gonna do. This is a double layer turn and this is fantastic. So instead of rearranging and regripping twice to see where things are like this, what I can do is I can do this, put it down and then move the whole layer back. And so it's incredibly fast to do because it's a very fluid motion, right? I'm not terribly good at it, but it works in a pinch. So that's an option. And so that's probably what I do. And as I kind of mentioned in some of my posts, well, while I'm putting this down here, I would also be looking for my first corner edge pair, which I actually notice is back here. And then there's another one back here. So I have a couple options. So I'd go like that. Doesn't disturb these two. Then I've got this one here, and it's actually hard to see without, well, with the camera in the way, but I'm trying. There, and then my Y perm. All right, so let's try and grab another cross scramble, because again, uh, let's get a different scramble. There we go. Okay, as usual, white, green, so back two, left two, back two, front prime, down two, right two, front prime, U prime, front prime, up two, front, down prime, right two, left front prime, U prime, back two, left front two, back, left prime, right, back, down two, back. And the explanation without uh, messing up my cube again which is fantastic. Okay, so this is a perfect, this is a good example of, of um, a cross that's actually gonna be really fast to solve. So if we look for our edges, I see there's this one here, this one here, orange and white here, and then there's the green white back here. So if we were to put blue down and put orange down directly, it's not gonna be in the right spot because I can see blue here and red here. So I know if I put the blue down, this has to be red. Well, fortunately, red is right here. So, if red goes here, orange has to go here. I know that because I can see this is blue, and so blue, red, so this is blue, this would have to be red, this would have to be green, and this would have to be orange. So here's what I'm planning. If I do U2, it's gonna put this above where it needs to go. It's also going to put green, uh, which is a bad flipped edge, near where it needs to go. Now, if I bring this blue down, that solves that one. And so I know from an execution standpoint, I can do that right away, because I'm not gonna be doing any downturns. So I can do that right away. Cool, so that one's done. Now, because blue is here, I've decided my mind, or made up my mind that red's going here. Now, I also said I have to do a U2 to kind of set up what I wanna do with orange. So I'm gonna do that. Now, here's another trick I'm gonna I'm gonna put this down because I know where I want it to go. So this is done. So this is another trick. I've got two bad flipped edges. Normally to fix a bad flipped edge, it's gonna take at least one, two turns and two adjacent face turns. So I said to get this QB flipped the right way, it's gonna take at least two turns. So I have to get it over to here and then down here. Same thing here, this piece has to go here before it can go here. But what if I could do this all simultaneously? I'll give you a second to look at it and think about it. So think about what would go where and how it would get there. And hopefully you see it. If this is blue, this has to be red, this has to be green, this is orange. And so here's what we would do. Just like that. And while I'm doing my uh, down prime, I can be looking for other cubes that need to be solved, like this pair right here, right? And then while I was looking, I noticed this one. And while I was looking, I noticed that one. And I know I'm not really pointing and explaining, but hopefully you'll get the idea if you were to go back and look at the video again. 
And that's that one. So we'll do one more, because I'm slowly running out of time. I don't know how long my videos can be on YouTube. Okay, uh, different scramble. Okay, as usual, white up, green front. Right, back prime, U, L, U prime, down, left two, down prime, right prime, down, back, down, back prime, down, U, right two, U prime, down two, front, down two, right prime, U prime, down, back, L prime. And I have a feeling this is going to be a bad one. With Take a look. Okay. This is actually not too, too bad. Orange is already in the right spot. It's a good edge, just needs to go here. Red is bad, but it's one turn from being away, away from being good. Green and white is up here, needs to go here before it can come down. So that's a bad edge, and technically this isn't a bad edge, but this needs to go all the way over here. So thinking about this, my thought process for execution would actually be to purposely mess this one up. So I'm going to do this one because I know I can do this one safely without changing anything because all of my stuff is happening kind of in this this shape here. So I'm going to do green. Undo green. So by undoing green, it's still flipped correctly, but it's in the wrong spot. Well, it's flipped correctly. It's in the right spot, but it's up here instead of being down here. But what it did is it solved this one. So when I place this one, it places my blue. I bring down blue, I bring down green, and I have a solved cross. And then from there, I notice that I've got this corner edge pair here, which can go back there. I also notice that I've got this corner edge pair here. Um, something I want you to notice is that I'm actually placing it without rotating the cube as much as possible. I've got this corner edge here, so I can bring that up. And then I've got this corner edge here and here, so I'm just going to kick that out and bring it back in. And then I've got my OLL and then my PLL. And that's that. So uh, three, was it three or four that I did there, I guess? Anyway, um, tell you what, I think I still have a couple minutes. Let me do one more real quick. Good enough. Scramble. Okay. Front prime, U2, right back prime, front L prime, U back to left, back right front, back prime, left prime, U, L2, right back to right, down prime, left prime, right two, down prime, right prime, back two. And let's take a look. Let's see. Um, okay, so this is an interesting case where we've got red in a good spot, we've got orange in a good spot, green is actually opposite blue. Kind of messy. If I were to execute this one, here's what I would actually do. This is where I would solve for three instead of four. I would bring green all the way around to here, and I know when I kick it up, blue is going to end up right here, the blue and white. My thought process is, if blue and white ends up here, I can just move this out of the way, bring it up, and then move it back. So it's not optimal by any stretch of the imagination, um, but it'll work. So here's what I mean. We'll bring this over to the other side. It's there. Bring up orange so it matches. Boom, boom. And now because of how I rotated the cube, I can do this, down, and back. Or yeah, no, that's probably the best way to do it. There's no real easy trick because if I did the other one, the other trick that I have, um, it's gonna throw off the whole cross. So it's easier to do it that way. And while you're going like, you know, uh, what was the move? Whatever I did there to, to solve this, I forget. Yeah, and this is how quickly I forget because I'm not paying attention. While I was solving this, I was actually noticing this pair back here as well as this pair here. So bring up that one, solve for that, and this is a perfect example of where I suck sometimes with my look ahead. I don't do the optimal algorithm for it. 
and that's okay. And then uh, PLL, or OLL rather, and then JPLL, and that's done.